What's up everybody, it's Josh here from Advanced Coupons and today I'm going to take you through how to add a coupon or have a coupon apply when there is a certain product in the cart. So using a, a cart condition to restrict that coupon to only be applicable if there a certain this certain product is in the cart. And you can do this um, with multiple products in the cart, you can do it with just one product. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that with Advanced Coupons. So. In, uh, in WooCommerce, the default coupons, they don't generally have this kind of feature. Um, you can restrict a coupon based on uh, certain products being there, but it's, it's not near as sophisticated as you need um, to be able to use it effectively. So I've got this, uh, this test site here that I'm, I'm just uh, demoing this on. I'm going to create a new coupon code, and you'll notice down the side here we've got a whole bunch of extra stuff um, beyond just the standard WooCommerce features. So this is uh, introduced by an extension for WooCommerce called Advanced Coupons and you can find that at advancedcouponsplugin.com. Now the feature that we need is called a cart condition. So I'll just give my coupon a name, I'll call it example, and I'm going to make this a $10 fixed cart discount. But I only want this cut. Uh, I only want this uh, this coupon to be applicable if there is a certain product in the cart. Now I do this with a cart condition restriction. So in cart conditions, you can actually add multiple groups of conditions. So this is uh, defining things that need to be true in the cart before that coupon is allowed to be applied. So when they type in the coupon code, it will actually go through the cart as it exists at the moment, and it will check for these conditions to make sure that it's correct before it lets the user apply the coupon. So you can see how that would uh, kind of help you enforce a deal, um, rather than just giving out a coupon and hoping they, they use the, the correct uh, combination of products in the cart. This will actually make them use it. So you add a condition group there and you can add a condition. The one we're wanting is product quantity in the cart today. And um, you can see there's lots of other conditions there as well, um, but we'll just focus in on this one here. We'll, we'll do some other videos for all these other uh, conditions. So you can add that. So adding this, this condition into this condition group. And what I want to do is look for a product. So let's just open up this products list here and we will choose a product. So this is the product that we want to make sure that the, the product is in the cart before they can um, before they can actually use it. So let's do a beanie, a WooCommerce beanie. So I go in here, I'll just search for the beanie. So WooCommerce beanie, so Woo beanie was the one we're after. And I want to make sure that there is more than well, you, you can choose which uh, which condition you want. So you can have it match exactly to one quantity or exactly to whatever specific quantity that you want. You can have it choose anything except. So that would be handy if you had anything except for one quantity. So it could um, basically match anything. Other than that, you can do more than or less than as well. So I could say uh, more than quantity one. So that will make sure that there's always two or more of these beanies in the cart before it will actually apply. So I want to have um, two or more of those beanies in the cart. So once you see it in this table here, that means it's going to test it. And you can add multiple conditions here. Like if I wanted to, I could also say um, that they need to have some sunglasses in the cart too. In fact, let's go and have a look at that. And this will show you exactly how it gets more powerful when you can combine these these conditions together. Um, it can yeah, you can really add up uh, the rules and and conditions that you need to to be satisfied before this coupon can be applied, which makes you makes it easier for you as the store owner to to apply a specific kind of deal. So let's go with with uh, sunglasses, and we'll say the same thing. So more than two. So they can either they can have uh, as long as they have a beanie in the at least two or more beanies in the cart and at least two or more sunglasses in, in the cart so more than one um, then they'll be able to apply the coupon so let's go ahead and publish this coupon here And 
I'll just go back to that cart condition. So it actually saved the cart conditions there. I'm just going to hit apply, uh, hit publish again because I should have saved the, the cart conditions there. There we go. So now the coupon is actually published and we've got our cart conditions in here and let's go and give this a test. So I'm just going to open up an incognito window here. This just gives me a completely fresh browsing session for the site. Um, so as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of logged in as, uh, oh, I'm not logged in, uh, I'm viewing the site as a guest user. So I needed one of the, uh, two of these beanies. I'm just going to put one in the cart there so you can see this demoed. And the other thing was the sunglasses. Let's go and find these sunglasses. Here we go. Add that to the cart as well. So I'm going to add two of the sunglasses, but I'm going to just have one of the beanie. So we know that this hasn't actually satisfied our terms yet. I'm going to try and put in this example coupon and see what happens. So you can see that your current cart hasn't met the conditions set for this coupon. If I increase this, update the cart, and try the coupon code again, it should apply. So there we go, coupon code has been applied successfully and it's because we have the beanie at quantity two, so that's more than one, or and the sunglasses at more than one as well. Now if I drop one of these down, let's see what happens. So now that I've dropped it down and the cart conditions haven't been met, it actually invalidates the coupon. So the coupon example is invalid, it's now been removed from your order. And this is how it gets, um, how you enforce your deal essentially. So with the cart conditions, they must be true before they can actually go through the checkout and check out with that coupon on their order. So let's, um, let's just explore a couple of other um, ideas with this, uh, with this coupon, with these condition groups. So that's the basic idea of how this, this works. And now that we're back in the back end here, I'm going to go ahead and remove one of these. So I'll keep my beanie in there. I'm going to save the cart conditions and I want to show you how this all condition works. So if you add in an extra condition group, what you can do is change this to or. So that will mean that you can have it matching one product here or you can have it matching another product here. So we can then have the coupon activated whether it is doing uh, two or more beanies or if it's got uh, two or more sunglasses in the cart. So stacking the conditions like this means you can actually build up a fairly complex set of cart conditions um, but for the user, it just seems like a, like a seamless kind of experience. So let's save the conditions. So this coupon now, um, we can use this whether they have two or more beanies or two or more sunglasses in the cart. Let's go ahead and give this a try. So let's first add the beanie. And I'm gonna add a second beanie in the cart there. So now I've only got the beanie in the cart. And let's try and apply this coupon. So now the coupon's been applied successfully because I've only just got the beanie there and it actually matched that first condition. So the first condition of um, whether there is two or more, uh, yeah, whether there's, there's more than one beanie in the cart. So let's go back, remove the beanie. It will also remove that coupon at the same time. Let's go back to the, the shop and I'll go and find those sunglasses and let's try the same thing. So now we've got two sunglasses in the cart, which satisfies the more than one condition. And I can still use that example coupon. So it's matched based on that, that condition there. So going back to the back end here, we've got this or condition. So you can have uh, as long as there's more than one beanie or there's more than one sunglasses. So 
using this uh, this product quantity and cart condition, it lets you essentially uh, restrict the application of that coupon as to whether your customers are allowed to even check out with that coupon on their cart. They need to satisfy these cart conditions, otherwise the coupon gets removed. So I hope that gives you a few ideas for your, for your next promotion. And if you want more information about the Advanced Coupons extension, you can go and find it at advancedcouponsplugin.com and there'll be a link in the uh, description if you're watching this on YouTube.